Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know it's Horse City Live TV, and thank you for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be talking about silver badges and what silver badges can do for your player out there. We want to know how effective silver badges are. So, today, during today's live stream, I'm going to be running only silver badges and below. So, we're not going to be running anything higher than silver in any of the categories. So, we're going to see, we're going to test this out to the fullest. In today's video, we're going to talk about these silver badges and see what we should or should it equip so if you're not familiar with our live stream we live stream on five different platforms every day simultaneously so that's facebook mixer twitch d live and we also live stream right here on youtube so come on out we'd love to have you first and foremost i want to send my thanks to all of you guys because you guys have been absolutely amazing my thanks goes to god first because you put god first and it seems like everything else just falls together so you might want to consider that as well aside from these bad just think of putting God first and all these badges might get aligned properly or everything in your life might get aligned properly as well. We're going to get right into these badges. We're not going to waste any of you guys' time. We're going to go through each category and what I'm going to be running in today's live stream. And we're going to talk about these silver badges. So let's get right into silver badges. We're going to go into finishing. I'm running Acrobat on silver. I love the Acrobat badge recently, very fairly recently, become a huge fan of the Acrobat badge. What I do want to say about Acrobat is it has a ton of layup animations that you wouldn't get otherwise. Point blank period. If you don't have the Acrobat badge, on or equipped, you're not going to get particular layup animations where he'll maneuver, you know, he'll maneuver past the defense to kind of finish a layup. So I'm running Acrobat, consistent finisher. I'm, I'm going to attempt to run consistent finisher on silver. My thoughts on consistent finisher is that it's been inconsistent. I've had it equipped at the highest level for the longest time and I will still miss layups. That may be due. Now, I, I, put it consist, I put consistent finisher in combination with Acrobat, Giant Slayer, Slithery, Pro Touch. I've done all sorts of combinations. So they were going to run all silver and below. So I'm going to run consistent finisher on there. And we're going to see what happens during today's live stream. But if you run it on silver or below please let me know how it's working out for you because we would love to hear from you contact finisher on silver what do you guys think i've only had this badge equipped on gold i wouldn't ever go below it normally but being that we want to test out these silver badges to the fullest and push push their limits quite a bit we're gonna go with contact finisher on silver and see what happens when it's combined with all of these other layup uh, badges and see if it can help us out because contact finisher is not only for dunks it also helps for layups uh, we're gonna run giant slayer on bronze just because I want any additional help with finishing my layups we're gonna see if that could help on bronze relentless finisher on silver Listen, if you got Relentless Finisher, you may want to consider equipping it as high as it can go. Normally, I would run this on gold. Now, I've had mixed feelings throughout the year, throughout the cycle of 2K20 about Relentless Finisher because Relentless Finisher, I was able to catch bodies without the badge equipped at all. But as far as on a consistent basis it wasn't there and I wanted to finish more consistently and relentless finisher from what I've noticed especially after patch 10 is that relentless finisher seems to help me out so I've been running it on gold you guys may want to consider that as well pro touch I'm running as well pro touch on silver now again I have mixed feelings about pro touch I at times, the combination between Pro Touch and Consistent Finisher have been absolutely goaded for me at times. But at times, it felt like they were completely useless. I just got to keep it a buck with you guys. I, you know, I, I've tried running so many different badge combinations for extended periods of time. I don't normally just put the badge on for a game or two and see what happens no i'll run it for extended periods of time because you never know with server issues latency issues it, you may not play as you should so i'll run it extended periods of time and i gotta say with pro touch i had i was forced to take it off because I, I felt like my layup animations were super soft and i thought it was due to pro touch i could be mistaken but if you guys are running pro touch please let us know slithery finisher on silver i would normally run slithery as high as it can go but being that we're going to be doing silver badges only silver and below at least hands down the community the 2k community knows slithery finisher is a must-have finishing badge so we're gonna run it on silver and see what happens let's continue on let's go into shooting 
Patch and Shoot Silver, Corner Specialist Silver, Green Machine Bronze, Dead Eye Bronze, Hot Zone Hunter Bronze, Range Extender Bronze, Quick Draw Bronze. Catch and Shoot, catch and shoot on Silver. Now, the homie, um... It's propaganda. He set me up with this badge setup. This is actually what I've been running. My badges could go up to gold, but I've only been running this particular badge setup, and I got that from the homie. It's propaganda. So you may want to consider a badge setup like this. This is what I run on a daily basis. Now, I'm not a lights out type of shooter. I'm a two way slashing playmaker, but I want to hit some shots, and I'm fairly comfortable with this badge setup currently. Now, if I have to adjust these or um, um, you know increase some of the badge levels I will let you guys know I promise I will let you guys know and see what works out better but currently that's what I'm running and that's what we're gonna run on today's live stream as well playmaking badges now this is where everything gets interesting being that we're running silver, look at this badge spread oh man being that we're running silver badges ankle breaker on silver now you guys know ankle breaker it gets you a ton of ankle breaker animations as long as you're queuing up the right dribble moves like hop steps and step backs and things like that you'll use ankle breaker and it'll be effective uh bailout if you guys are not familiar with bailout you you might want to see what Ticino's doing with the bailout badge. He is killing them with the. I mean, he's throwing alley oops off a of fake uh, jump shot. So he's gonna jump up in the air and then throw an alley oop right from that. So uh, the bailout badge is highly effective. He runs it at Hall of Fame. I was just watching his video yesterday. He runs that badge on Hall of Fame. We're going to be going with Dimer on Silver as I like the speed that it gives your pass animations. And not only that, you add additional boost to the player who receives that pass. Handles for Days on Silver, a badge I would normally equip at the highest level. But being that we're doing Silver and Below... I got handles for days on silver. Um, handles for days. One thing I want to mention about that is that it also um, allows you to. It gives you the ability to queue up. If you take off handles for days or lower it, you'll know that you can't queue up the next um, dribble move in your animation as quickly as you would want to if you equipped uh, handles for days at a higher level. And not only that, you run out of energy super quick. Your energy gets dwindled down super quick when you don't have handles for days. So you got a couple moves. And you got to make something happen. We're going to test this out on today's live stream. So be sure, to, be sure to come through and check us out. Floor General on Silver. Again, I got to reiterate this to you guys. Like I said in yesterday's video or the day before yesterday. Floor General seems to make my player play a lot better. The person who equipped it. A lot of people think that there's a placebo effect and that it's all in my head, but I feel like I play better when I have the Floor General badge on and equipped. Uh, needle Threader. I, oh man, I gotta tell you, when you're running Pro-Am out there, Needle Threader seems like a goaded badge. Man, when I say, when you got the speed in your pass animation from Dimer and then you add Needle Threader on there as well, it feels like, man, that pass is almost like a straight dart to your teammate, and I really like that about needle thread so something for you guys to consider let me know what you guys think about needle thread i would love to hear from you quick first step another badge that i would equip at the highest level hands down quick first step is one of those badges that you want to have equipped at the highest level i'm sure that goes for the majority of the 2k community although some of these goats out there i get a lot of feedback from a lot of great players i have that opportunity as i live stream every day and we stay connected on our discord so i get a lot of feedback from a lot of great players out there but hands down quick first step is one of those badges that you want to have equipped at the highest level space creator i'm running it on silver and we're going to see what silver space creator could do for you another badge that's gotten a huge buff with ankle breakers if you're using your hop jumper the right way you could catch some ankles just by tapping the box button or holding down on your right analog stick for like a second and it'll trigger up it'll trigger a hop step animation and bam space creator will kick in and more than likely get you an ankle breaker animation tight handles now we know tight hand the behind the back is not there anymore tight handles will give you a stun animation off of the behind the back the explosive behind the back 
although it feels like behind the back is making a comeback um tight handles may become an effective badge once again we are not 100 percent sure if it does become super effective i'll drop another video on it if you guys are familiar with how good tight handle is currently please let us know in the comment section below we'd love to hear from you unpluckable on silver i like unpluckable on silver i've been running it in pro-am unpluckable on silver and normally i would have this just on bronze like if i'm running parkinson i would just put it on bronze but unpluckable on silver seems to be doing his job and we're gonna run it in today's live stream and see what happens let's move on to defense and rebounding now look at this spread for defense and rebounding something that you guys may want to consider even on a daily basis it's a great spread normally chase down would be on bronze that's what i would normally run but we being that we're running silver badges and below i'm gonna put chase down on silver clamps i would have at the highest level normally but being that we're running silver i'm gonna have it on silver today in today's live stream so you can come check out my defense and see if it's if silver badges could be the move Ooh, maybe silver badges are the new wave who knows but i know a lot of people have tried don't get me wrong clamps highest level you're goaded out there it would not hurt your player i normally run run the clamps badge on gold just to help with my badge spread but intimidator i'm going to be running on silver and in recent being that after patch 10 shooting has seemed to got to have gotten a huge buff people are hitting highly contested shots and i'm wondering if this is due to me having um only a silver intimidator i'm thinking i may want to increase this on a regular basis but we're gonna see today we're gonna test it on we've been running this badge on silver actually but today we're going to test it in combination with all of these other silver badges pickpocket on silver i like the pickpocket badge i don't know if you guys like the pickpocket badge but in my opinion pickpocket is better than interceptor i put interceptor i've tried running interceptor at the highest level and wouldn't get any steel animation. well i would get the steel animation but he just lunges to to the middle of nowhere he wouldn't even catch the ball or it, the animation is so silly it makes no sense because he's not even tapping the ball he's just just getting the animation but he's completely out of position for the pass so that's what i noticed with interceptor so i've, I've been running pickpocket i haven't run interceptor in quite a while because i don't i didn't like what i was seeing out there pick dodger i like the pick dodger badge man if you guys are not familiar with pick dodger you may want to consider equipping it on your player especially if you're a perimeter type of player getting hit with brick wall screens you may want to consider a uh, pick dodger rim protector we're running it on silver another badge that i would normally run on bronze i would normally run the uh, rim protector on bronze as is goaded with chase down and rim, you know chase down bronze rim protector bronze you can't go wrong with those two badges on bronze as a point guard or a guard level type i think almost any build up until center or maybe a tall rebounding wing would you have to equip these badges at a higher level but i like those badges on bronze rim protector and chase down they work great on bronze i'm running them on silver because we want to get the most effectiveness of our defense today during today's live stream when we're testing out these silver badges tyler's defender on silver another golden badge i love the badge hands down i like what tyler's defender does for my defense out there if you guys are running tyler's defender please let us know what it does for your player what level you put it on and also what type of player you have well we went through all of the silver badges that i'm gonna be running in today's live stream well that's all i got for you guys on silver badges and whether or not these badges will be effective you can come find out in today's live stream i just wanted to give my input on these silver badges and if you guys found this video helpful and informative please consider subscribing to our channel because we're gonna have a ton of nba 2k20 content coming your way catch you guys on the next video